1. Pop. How to thread the machine. Threading the upper thread. Put a spool on the thread spindle, then put on the thread spindle cover. Pull the thread so it passes through the thread clamper, leading down the gap of the clamper. Pull the thread upward as the arrow shows, passing through the take-up lever, then through the hole next to the needle camp, screw from up to down. Lead the thread through the needle hole from front to backward with a needle threader, leaving a thread end with a length of about 15 centimeters. Replacing the bobbin. Lift up the presser foot, slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder. Hold the needle thread with one hand and with the other hand turn the hand wheel counterclockwise with the thread going clockwise and the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and pull it through the hole under the needle. Leave 5 to 10 centimeters of the thread hanging out. Separate the two threads and pull them to the back of the machine under the presser foot, leaving about 15 centimeters hanging there. Now replace the bobbin cover. Please always make sure the bobbin thread has been picked up with about 15 centimeters hanging out before you start to sew. Two part, how to replace the needle. If the needle breaks or you need to replace a different needle to sew a different kind of fabric, please follow these steps in the following. Please be sure to turn off the power switch or pull out the plug from the machine to prevent injury when accidentally starting up the machine. Loosen the needle clamp screw with one hand and hold the needle with the other. Remove the needle downward. Insert the new needle completely into the clamp with the flat side of the needle facing back toward the presser foot bar. Tighten the screw, making sure the needle is fixed well. Part 3. How to replace the presser foot. Four, part, how to sew a fabric. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and place the fabric you want to sew under the presser foot. Lift down the presser foot. Slide the power switch to the low or high speed position and the machine will automatically start sewing. We recommend the low speed for beginners. Turn off the switch. Raise the needle to its highest position. Turn the pattern selection dial to set a number to the position of the arrow. The number you choose is corresponding to the stitch beside. Here, I randomly choose stitch pattern number 2, number 5, number 8, number 10 and number 12 to demonstrate. If you want to change a different stitch pattern, please stop sewing and turn the hand wheel to raise the needle to its highest position in order to avoid causing damage to the need accidentally. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reserve lever while you're sewing. You should only use reverse sewing on straight stitches. This is useful for reinforcing the seam. When you finish sewing, turn off the power switch, unplug the adapter, Turn the hand wheel to raise the needle to its highest position, lift up the presser foot and then remove the fabric gently from the sewing machine and cut the thread with the thread cutter.
5. Part How to sew a buttonhole Put cloth under the presser foot and press down the presser foot on the cloth where you need to sew a buttonhole. Then choose the number 12 stitch, turn on the switch and sew 5 to 6 stitch in low speed then turn off switch. Choose the number 11 stitch, turn on switch and sew on the cloth in suitable length then turn off the switch. Note that try to keep sewed stitch in straight line. Choose the number 12 stitch to sew 5 to 6 stitches in low speed. Then turn off switch. Figure 3. Raise the presser foot. Turn the cloth head back. Set the needle to the right position on the cloth. Then press down the presser foot. Choose number 11 stitch. Turn on the switch and sew till buttonhole is over sewed fully then stop sewing. Figure 4 and 5. 6. Part How to Nail a Button Seven part winding the bobbin when the bobbin thread is used up you can use the sewing machine to wind one more bobbin thread first of all put an empty bobbin on the bobbin window spindle push the bobbin to the right towards the hand wheel to fix the bobbin pull the thread end from a bigger thread spool leading it through the thread clamper passing through any one of the metal holes in the bobbin hold on the thread end with one hand Turn the hand wheel clockwise with another hand, a few laps to fix the thread end, then turn on the power switch to start winding. When you have enough thread wound on the bobbin, turn off the power switch to stop winding. The machine will pause automatically when the bobbin thread winds thick enough to touch the eccentric wheel. Push the bobbin to the left, away from the hand wheel. Cut the thread ends and take the bobbin off the spindle. 